when you assemble together all of the scraps of Magnus's picture, you get a fancy little star. Nancy recognizes this as a star from the lighthouse, so that's why I've come back. I've come back searching for her! The star! Where can she be? He hello Dadney? Uh, oh. Hey, Drew. Hey, Dagny, weren't you, like, kidnapped? So much for being missing, I've been looking for you. Fun fact, it's really easy to fake a footprint these days. What do you say we talk this over down in the port? Next to the heater? You look like you could use a coffee break. Take a load off. It's freezing up here and I have a feeling this is gonna be a long one. I want to believe the best here, but... You should stop doing that. People like me don't deserve that. Anyways, you, me, town. So, you faked that you'd gone missing, huh? Yeah, yeah, don't look at me with those kicked puppy eyes. I needed some time to crack the case without anyone catching on to me. You kicked a puppy? Oh! You must have a compelling lead on the treasure. Otherwise, knowing you, you'd never have left the heater. Uh, detectives. Okay, fine. The ship itself is a map to the treasure. I suspected that. The problem is the original ship was torn apart. Many of the pieces of the original have been built into the town. I've been putting them together, but something's still missing. I need some sort of key, something to help me decode the map. So, let me guess. You know where to find that key. <laughs> Not even. But you know what? I think you do. Um, no, I don't think I've solved that puzzle yet. I mean, I just have random pieces of paper from Magnus at this point. Uh, sorry, I don't. Hmm. A girl with principles. That's cute. Aw, thanks for calling me cute. But seriously, you, you're, you're being kind of a jerk here, Dagny. I'm starting to think Magnus didn't disappear on his own. All evidence points to you right now, Dagny. Look, I'm being honest. Take this as collateral. It clearly fits somewhere, just not sure where. I might be greedy, but I'm not a greedy kidnapper. I want Magnus back safe, or at least safe-ish. A coin? Maybe that'll help you. If you decide to stop hating money, I'll be waiting. Toodles. You're not even paying me! Just the girl I wanted to see. Seriously, are, are you paying me for this? Because I don't think you are. Elizabeth seems like she's withholding information. She still seems pretty intense about Magnus, as far as I can tell. And she thinks the treasure belongs to her. I've seen some exes do some pretty wild things when they're going through the stages of grief. That's why when I end a relationship, I just move to a different continent and change my phone number. So much easier than doing the whole breakup thing. That must be exhausting. Eh. Let's just say I don't really do mailing addresses anymore. You must be running out of continents. I've been thinking about the treasure. Oh, yeah? Elizabeth tells me she doesn't want anyone to have ownership of it. <sighs> Hippies. Sometimes I just want to give Elizabeth a nice big silver family hug and keep squeezing and squeezing. I see your point, though. This was a terrible tragedy. Is it really okay for us to profit off that? The dead are dead, Nancy. We either bury them with all their stuff and lose it forever, or we steal the stuff and do something that actually has an impact on the world. Or at least, my checking account. Who do you think the treasure belongs to, Nancy? Mm, I don't know. Give it to me! 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 Uh, okay, fine. I'll save my game here and check out all the various answers. First, let's go with Soren. It's only fair to give it to Soren. What, that nerd? So he can buy himself a new Viking fork collection or something? Honestly, Drew, the things that come out of your mouth. Now, let's go with Gunnar. I think it belongs to Gunnar. Give it to the creepy hobo as an appeasement strategy? I guess you would do that. Now, Elizabeth? Elizabeth's family are the rightful owners. <laughs> sure, give it to the hippie so she can sit on it and fail to reinvest a single penny. Over my dead body. 
Now for Magnus. Magnus, he's been searching his whole life. After he stabbed me in the back to go look for it? Some friend you are. I mean, not that we were friends in the first place. Let's make Dagny happy by saying she deserves the treasure. You've invested a lot in this restoration. I think you should have it. Oh, I like you. Keep telling me nice things. Tell me my coat looks fab. Who do you think the treasure belongs to, Nancy? And now for the real answer. Give it to me. I think you've had a little too much caffeine today. You're starting with the crazy talk. I'll let you go. See ya, Drew. Oh, come on! Oh, oh, you could take it seriously when I say I'm trying to get the treasure for myself? And I want to talk to Soren. Just to tell him that, hey, Dagny is not lost anymore. Oh, hello there. She sort of faked her own kidnapping for some reason. Did you lock Magnus's cabin? Yes. No one should be going in there until the authorities search everything. Why not call the police? Believe me, I want to. But I live life one step away from an angry mob on my doorstep. Why do you think I stay in the culture center? Why are you so convinced that people want to kill you? I don't mind getting in trouble. What if I help you? I'll call them up myself. Nancy, please. If you were to do that, you'd be tarred and feathered faster than you can say, Hey, a fietla, Yoku. In these parts, vigilante efforts are very much the norm. Even if the police were to come in, no one would talk. I hate to admit it, but it's up to the two of us to crack this case. Goodbye. Well, on with it. You know, speaking of vigilante efforts, why don't we ask Batman to solve the mystery? Batman could solve the mystery. He's really, really good at solving mysteries. And yes, 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 I, I came over here to find that little starfish thingy. So let's see if we can find the starfish thingy. I suppose it's not a starfish. I suppose it's a star. This design matches the one from those drawings. Yay! And that's it? No, that's not it. We have a monster puzzle. I'll need to have one of each number within each outline triangle, and one of each number along the horizontal and diagonal rows, too. The solution to this puzzle is the same on both Master Sleuth and Amateur Sleuth modes. Let's start with this triangle. It has three missing numbers, which are 7, 8, and 9. We can't have a 9 in this particular diagonal, because it already has a 9, so the 9 must go here. We can't have a 7 in this row, because it already has a 7, so 7 goes there, and the 8 goes there. And this triangle is all filled out, indicating that we're finished with it. So let's look at this diagonal. The two numbers we need are a 2 and a 5. We already have a 5 in this row, so the 5 goes here, and the 2 goes there. Let's look at this triangle. So we need a 2 in this triangle. The 2 is not in this diagonal, and it's not in this row, so it must be over here. And for this triangle, the 2 is not in this diagonal, or this row, or this row, or this diagonal, therefore it must be over there. So that's basically how the puzzle works. You have to figure out where things cannot possibly go in order to figure out where they do go. Sort of like Sudoku, if you've ever played Sudoku. Now for the 7. The 7 in this particular triangle. It, it cannot be in this diagonal, and it can't be in this diagonal, or in this row, so the 7 goes over here. Okay, so the 7 in this this particular triangle. The 7 isn't in this particular uh, diagonal. It's not in that diagonal, and it's not in this row, so it's over here. And this is sort of the... the the tricky thing. You see this row? Do you see this row at the bottom? This square is actually part of that row. Yeah, totally threw me off the first time I tried to solve this puzzle, because it doesn't look like it should be part of that row. Anyway, let's just keep going. So let's see if I can find a place to put a 9 anywhere. The 9 must be here or here. We already have a 9 in that particular diagonal, so the 9 is there. Let's look, see. Okay, so we have a 9 in this diagonal, so the 9 must be here or here. We already have a 9 in that row, so the 9 is there. 
Okay, so the 9 can't be in these faces. It must be in one of these two. Can't be in this one because we have a 9 in that particular uh, vertical, I mean, um, diagonal. Now all the 9s are in place. So let's look at this. This particular triangle it needs a 3, a 6, and an 8. We have 6 and 8 already blocked off for this row, so the 3 is here. And let's see, so we need a 6 and an 8. We have 8 blocked off for this uh, diagonal, so it's 6 and 8 like this. And this particular diagonal looks like it needs a 1 and a 6. It needs a 1 and a 6. We already have a 6 in this row, so it's going to look like this. 1 and 6. And this triangle looks like it's going to need a 1 and a 3, right? And we have three in this row, so three like that. One like that. This particular diagonal, which includes the eight, it includes the eight, is needing a four. This particular row needs a one. This particular row needs a three and an eight. So we can't have the three here because we have a three in that diagonal. So it's three and eight like this. This particular diagonal looks like it needs, it's got one, two, three, four, five, where, where's the five? It's, it's missing a five. Okay, so five goes there. So let's see, um, let, let's place the eight, because there's only one eight left. So the eight must be in this triangle, it's not in this row, and it's not in this diagonal, so it must be here. There's only one three left, so let's place it. Uh, three must be in this triangle. It's not in this row, and it's not in this diagonal, so it's here. We only have one one left, so it must be in this triangle. It is not in this diagonal, so it's here. Only one six left. Six is not in this row, so it's here. Five. Five is not in this triangle. So that means the 4 goes in that triangle. We already have a 4 in that row, so 4 here, 5 there. And that is your solution to the puzzle. Solving the puzzle gives you whatever that is. It's part of a map. Hooray for maps.